Knights of the Old Republic would be possible. I, I was uh, brainstorming some ideas in my mind, like, you know what? To save the Star Wars franchise, man, they gotta make this movie series. They got to. They gotta get their credibility. So there's some people come up in the chat here, though, uh, go ahead and uh, start uh, talking about a couple things and ideas, what I've got there. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm all swagged out now. I've got my Rock Revival shirt on and, and shorts. Got my Versace on, got my chain on, got my grill in. You heard me? So you know, just told me what the serious topics I'm going to go over. Folks, yeah. So yeah, let's just see if anybody popped in here because uh, I definitely want to discuss this. But if nobody shows up in five minutes, I'll just start talking and I'll just post a video to say fuck it. We'll see if we go. thinking about all morning. Like, okay, Star Wars franchise is, is in deep trouble. Like, it's about to fall apart. And I was thinking, you know, like, how can it be saved? Like, what can, what can they do? What, what can they do to bring back its glory? And then I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Knights of the Old Republic. Let's take it back 1,000 years. Oh, yeah, I know. I, like I said, for this project, it's got to be the writers who made the video game originally. No, God, that's no public wanted to. We need those writers. We need a, a producer that's going to, you know, put in that work. And we need a director that's got the passion for it. And I ain't talking about no A or B list per, uh, director. We might even need to go down to a C list. You know, just somebody out of out the blue. You know, that really wants us to work. So, uh, yeah, here's my here's my brainstormed idea for this. 
Uh, episode one will be called um, Star Wars K O T O R, Knights of the Old Republic. So what it does is it opens up. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, like oh. Uh, So the opening is Darth Revan, right? I mean, he's in a major battle right now against like maybe three or four Jedi's, Jedi Masters. And of course, uh, he's defeated. And then Darth Revan, well, he doesn't know who he is anymore, but you know, like in the video game, he loses his memory. So he wakes up and he just thinks it was a dream but not realizing that's actually part of his past. And, uh, obviously, if you play the game, you know the storyline, but if not, I ain't gonna do too much spoiling, but, uh, all right. So, the one, the man who was once Darth Revan wakes up, uh, you know, he has no force powers, nothing right now. I mean, everything's been taken away from him. However, uh, the, pl uh, the plant that he's on is he's exploring around for a little while. You know, he meets a couple companions. Uh, and, you know, he's, he starts to realize that he has force abilities and he doesn't understand how he has it. See, he has no memory, nothing. So, like in the video game, after he leaves uh, this, uh, right before he leaves this first world that he's on, uh, he meets up with a, uh, kind of like a Han Solo-like type guy, but I can't remember his name in the video game right now. I think it's Alton, or, uh, or Al Alton, or Alton. I can't remember his uh, name, but, uh, so yeah, they start kind of like hanging together, you know, and then they, uh, and, uh, and then the one playing rugged, but we're, Call him a, by a different, he'll have a different name in the movie at that part. Like he won't know his name, but we'll make it, somebody will make a, you know, like a typical Star Wars style name for him. And him and Alton, well, uh, right before they leave, they meet up with Bastila, who is a Jedi Master Sentinel. Yeah. And Bastila basically can sense that there's a, uh, the Force is strong in this guy. But at the same time, see now we can have, now from this point on, we can split the movie two directions. You can have him go good side or dark side. Like, you know, we can make it like a, a split franchise. It's never been done before, ever, where you have two versions of the same movie. A good version and an evil version. And then, you, and then you get split up and you keep branching off from that point there, you heard? Well, that'd be pretty wild, like, you know, uh, you got... And then, uh, of course, after they leave, they're gonna head to, like, Duxin and... And Korriban, Kashyyyk, all these other, all these other worlds, Coruscant, uh, when Coruscant was just maybe 2% of the, the planet was covered in the city at that point, because it was a long, long, long time ago, and, um... Uh, and then, of course, we'll meet uh, Mandalore, uh, the, 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 uh, the Man so we can get an idea about the Mandalorians and the Mandalorian Wars. Uh, rather than discovering his identity and everything else. Like I said, nobody's ever made a movie where the character will have one movie going good side and the other movie going bad side, I mean, or even dark side. So light side and dark side. Nobody's ever done that. That would be fucking epic, you heard me? Like, that just, that brainstorm in my head. I'm like, man, ain't nobody ever done that shit, man. Do you realize people had to see both versions of the movie? It, it's, it's like double, it's like, it's like double, uh, double income, you heard me? So yeah, for like the good side version, of course, uh, even though uh, we, we get introduced to Darth Malik, of course, uh, is trying to uh, complete uh, Darth Revan's work, uh, the Star Forge. 
like the ultimate weapon. I have, I have. Like, it's been, like, I don't know, it's, it's been brainstorming all morning in me, man. I can't explain it. Like, it's been a calling to me, like, you know, get the idea out. So that's what I want to do. So, like, we'll start the, the light side version first, so then we'll go to the dark side first. So the light side version, of course, uh, yeah, uh, he goes to Duxon, he meets uh, Mandalore, uh, uh, the leader of the Mandalorians, uh, and uh, of course later we get introduced to the, uh, to the robots, I can't remember their names in the game either, and on top of my head, uh, I remember the, there was a one robot who was like, you know, say like, conjecture, or pause, or, you know, he was just... He was kind of like a bad movie style unit too. Uh, you know, you can just hack the doors and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. And of course, as you know, uh, Darth Malak is going to eventually kid that bastard and turn her evil. But this this uh, person who doesn't realize he's revving until later in the game or the movie will save her. Of course, um, travel to Korriban, which is uh, the Sith homeworld, technically. Uh, he'll duke it out with like Darth Bane, the ghost of Darth Bane, the ghost of uh, uh, Darth. Oh, what was his name? Um, Allosaur or something. I can't remember the name. There was like three. There were like three Dark Lord or Dark Masters, where he had to fight the ghost of them to. Um, get what he needs from the Star Man. When he doesn't kill them, he's, uh, he, you know, because he's like, look, you're just a ghost, I passed your test, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, he'll encounter Bastila later in the movie, uh, try to bring her back to the light side. And then he takes on Darth Mal. Now you have the dark side person, where the character playing Revan is just reverting back to his old evil ways, but with his powers, like, it's like people are just drawn to him, and they're drawn to his style of, uh, of who he is. He would, so, like, in this side, he's going dark, so Alton and Bastila and all them just, you know, they, they keep their, like, and they start they start getting evil, too. And, of course, um, Revan wants to, uh, uh, obviously, Revan is going to, um, you know, trying to be a jerk on uh, Korriban, you know, he's going to kill everybody, like, fuck it, I don't care about y'all, blah, blah, blah. Um, he'll, uh, maybe he'll promise Mandalore, like, uh, his glory again of the Mandalorian race. Uh, when he goes to, uh, when, uh, Revan goes to fight Bastila, she realizes that Revan is back, and she wants to be his apprentice. So he'll agree, and then they both take on Malik together, and of course you have your dark side in. And then you have, and then, um, but with both endings, though, it's going to be something interesting. Just as uh, Revan and Bastila, either light side or dark side, or dark side, just before, like, you know, they're about to head off, you know, to, uh, wherever they're going to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm driving, so, yeah. Every time I go into these valleys, it'll, um, Drop the connection a little bit. I, I apologize about that. Let me get around this clown here right now. Okay. So at the end of the both the dark side and light side movies, uh, Revan and Bastila kind of like turn around because they feel something. Oh, okay. I don't know why he had no sound. Let me turn this off. Hold on. Is that better? Can you hear me now? But anyway, uh, I'll continue my story though. To start the second movie. Oh, okay, Mandalore, okay. Um, so yeah, like Revan will give uh, Mandalore, you know, like 
you know, he wants to be the, the leader and the king of the Mandalorians and on the dark side version. Damn, I don't, it must be you, man, because it can't be me. But uh, I'll check it, though. Uh, I don't know, I might have to restart the stream. I'll, we'll see. I mean, I know the noise is kind of loud here, so uh, let me see here. Uh, settings. Hold on. No, my microphone's not muted. Okay, I just muted and I muted my microphone. Okay, hopefully uh, you can hear me now. Because uh, you, I know you want to hear my uh, my idea for the second movie too. I, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'll go ahead and continue. Uh, you might be able to hear it when I when I finish the stream. All right. So. Um, at the end of both movies. All right, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, can you hear me now? I'm hoping you can hear me now. Freak, man, shit. Well, don't worry about it. Uh, hopefully, uh, you can hear me as I keep talking. Maybe something will pop through. But uh, all right, I'll get. I'll, I'll, I'll get to. The, I'll get. I'll keep on going. With you. All right. So obviously, it's going to be the space battles. Of course, I mean, uh, Bastilo knows the battle meditation technique. Like she's gonna either save the Republic or destroy it. Well, at least that's at least that that that, that, that Starfleet. Of course, Bastila, her battle meditation technique is like a. It's kind of like a, and it's kind of like an amplifier technique uh, of the Force. Basically, it gives like the side that she wants more confidence, more, you know, like uh, cause and effect. Uh, action reaction type of thing there you know she, she can like enhance everybody so yeah so like when Revan is about to go fight Malik of course uh Bastila stays behind either side dark or light on the light side she is uh, she's helping uh the uh the republic on the dark side of course she's helping uh, uh Revan's order I don't know, I can't remember the name of it, that it was called back then, but yeah. Um, so yeah, well, let's get to the end. Obviously we know that Malak is defeated. It doesn't matter if it's light side or dark side. And then at the end of the uh, light side movie, um, and the dark side movie, uh, Bastila and Revan, it looks like they're about to leave out going somewhere, but then they both turn around and they feel something in the force. And then we go to a new scene where from Knights of the Old Republic 2, 
the exile wakes up. We don't know who the exile is. He could be, like I said, he or she could be anybody. Because we know from that story, like, but then we flash back to Revan and Bastila. And Bastila, either in light side or dark side movie versions, tells Revan, you go ahead. I feel like I need to be at that presence. Presence is dangerous, or, or I shall say, this presence I feel that we feel is either dangerous or an asset, and then it cuts off. So yeah, we get two different versions of the same movie: the light side and the dark side. Like nobody's ever thought to do that before, and I can't believe that nobody ever thought about a movie with an idea like that. The second movie, of course, will be uh, the story of the exile. And we'll do the same thing, light side, dark side. I mean, you have, you'll have uh, Darth Nihilus, Darth Atreia, uh, Darth, uh, what's his name, uh, the guy that can't see, but he's, uh, he's, uh, he's also a support. Sebius uh, or something like that, Severus, Darth Severus, I can't remember his name. But yeah, uh, and then, of course, we get introduced to, like, all the other characters uh, from the video game in both movies. So that way, we could have another light side, dark side version of that movie, too. And the light side will fit in with the light side version of the first movie. And the dark side one will fit in more of the dark side version of the movie. We never know. Um, oh yeah, 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 absolutely. But what I'm going to do with the second movie, of course, you know, it, it's probably going to be two episodes long. Because uh, the second one is going to be it's hard to long. Um, but yeah, you'll have your two dark side versions, your two light side versions, and how the exile has to face uh, Darth Atreia uh, on. Uh, Malachor 5, uh, he has to go back to, he or she has to go back to her root, his or her roots, uh, face Dartrea, and yada yada. And with doing that, we get the third and final movie that never happened in the video game series. This is where the writers of those video games can put it on the big screen, Dark Side, Light Side version. Where the exile and Revan will eventually meet each other in both movies. Either they're both dark side, they're both light side. Or we can put a twist in it and have a third version where it's a dark side versus a light side. You, uh, and the people can vote who they want to be evil and who they want to be good for that for that bonus part. I mean, a lot of the same footage can be used. So this way, you don't have to redo the entire movie two whole times the same thing you know, all over again. You can take use reuse of the same footage. But uh yeah. I think that would be epic. I think it'd be epic, you hear me? That shit by chip. Well I would pay good money to watch both versions of all the of, 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 of the of the franchise. Like I said, it's never been done before. Let it be known that I had the idea. So if it ever does come into fruition, I think I deserve some credit and some rights to the next one. Come on, I'm down. Oh shit, I'm going too fast. I ain't paying attention. I was doing 70 to 65 books.
first uh, connection hubs. But uh, yeah, man, that's my idea, man, and that's it. So I think today's the 28th or 29th, July 28th or 29th, 2018. Trucker Exile E. This was his motherfucking idea. And this is a proof of evidence. I'm gonna leave this posted on YouTube. So this way, you know, if anybody tries to do this idea, uh, I can, uh, I can get, you know, the rights I spoke to me for the idea. So yeah, that's, that's, that's my vision for a future Star Wars franchise. A Knights of the Old Republic trilogy. light side and a dark side story on um, all three movies. And the third movie you have light side, dark side, and a light side versus dark side. Um, and letting the people go who they want to be the bad guy, who they want to be the good guy. Do they want Revan to be evil? Or do they want the exile to be evil? Versus them? What's up, Kev? What's up, Kev? And uh, me, uh, just, I was just talking about my uh, my idea to help save the Star Wars princess, man. Uh, uh, you missed the first 25 minutes, man, I was talking about it. But I am going to post this. I ain't taking it down. I ain't playing no music right now because I don't want you know, YouTube uh, smacking me again like the last one. Because I played a little bit of music, so they took it down the moment I posted it, man. That was a BS. I'm giving the music all the way off. Yeah. So, uh, I think we're gonna, I, I, I'm gonna try to uh, pitch the idea to Hollywood, to uh, Lucas Films, about a Knights of the Old Republic movie. But it's not gonna be an, any ordinary movie that we've got. You know, we always see one storyline in, in the Star Wars, right? You'll, you see, uh, the Jedi's versus the Sith. And it's it. It's just one straight line movie. However, if you play Knights of the Old Republic, you know. <laughs> That's what's up, man, baby. That's what's up, man. Uh, as I was saying earlier, with the Knights of the Old Republic movie, the first movie is actually going to be two movies coming out at the exact same time. A light side version and a dark side version where the main character will either go light side in the one movie or dark side in the other. So literally you get two movies that's the same movie. So like if this movie was to be released, it'll be Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic light side version, the light side will be the title of one and dark side will be the title of the other. So you get to watch both of them. But you have to pay to see both. Like nope. Nobody's ever done that, ever. And here I am brainstorming with my smart ass IQ to help save the franchise. And I'm gonna pitch this, and I'm gonna pitch it to Lucas Films. But J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy cannot touch it. I want a passionate director that loves the film that want that that's a fanboy but at the same time a director or a fan girl. So, but yeah, it's gonna be. So yeah, it's like a movie that's gonna bring back all the characters from Knights of the Old Republic video game into the movie game. Oh man, yeah, you get something going, man. See, I make I make beats now too now. I make beats. I just did one last night for my homie in uh, Mississippi. I was uh, up for about two extra hours longer than I wanted to be until I got that shit finished. But yeah, that shit done. It only took me two hours to make. Two and a half hours. Uh, yeah. But I don't do trap music and I 
donkey mumble style rap people. Like, I won't make those kinds of beats. They're, they are lame, they're recycled, and they are boring. I'm a create, I'm a create, I'll create what I feel is coming out of me. That's how I will operate. Okay? I look pale as a motherfucker. I'll see. Yeah, I'm not going to make this stream too, too, too long as I know that, uh, you know, it is Sunday, a lot of people ain't really doing much. Or they are they out and about, you know, trying to go to the park or going to a park, going to a sporting event, like a baseball game. You know, I'm going to take it all a long time. You know? I'll probably cut this off at about the 40 minute mark. I mean, 31 minutes, 48 seconds now. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, I think it's a great idea, man. When I come to Italy, I'll see if uh, I'll see if the crew will help uh, help me up here a little bit. I'm gonna get me over to Hollywood so I can uh, throw the idea to them. You hear me? So I think it that definitely would be something the fans want. It's like it was, uh, the old Star Wars game there. You had all those different classes of Jedi's and Sith. Like you had the, the, the Jedi Consular, uh, the Jedi Guardian, and the Jedi Sentinel. I have mixed emotions about that movie. I like it and I don't like it. It just didn't it just it just didn't scream Christopher Reeve style to me here. But uh yeah, so uh, but yeah, also you have like the assassin. Uh, Sith Lord and uh, Sith, um, oh, what was the third class name? Freak. I'll have to look it up. But, uh, yeah, like, we'll get to see, like, all these big ass Jedi and Sith battles that the fans want, you know, they definitely want. They want to see those, those lightsaber fights, you know what I mean? And not just the space battles and all the uh, other bullshit. They want to, they want to feel it. They want to grasp it. They want to become part of it. That's what the fans want. And the Knights of the Old Republic, boy, that would, bruh, that would be a worldwide phenomenon. And to do with the idea how I was saying how I was going to do it. Had the first movie have two versions, a light side and a dark side. The second movie, light side and dark side. The third movie, light side, dark side, and the big battle of Revan versus the Exile. Me. So like nobody's ever thought to do it that way. So technically it's seven movies instead of three in a trilogy. Who in the hell has thought of that? Nobody. I did. I thought of it. Nobody else has thought of that shit. You heard me? I can't wait, man. I can't wait to be able to pitch this shit. I can't wait to pitch this shit, man, because... I believe that they're going to vote for it. You hear me? It's going to cost a lot of money. But best believe, I think they're going to go for it. I, I mean, and this is coming from me right now because it's like, you know, I would pay money. I would actually finally do what I want to do. Hell yeah! I'm not saying I should be the director because I don't know nothing about directing. I just want I just want credit for the rights. That's it. Like if the movie makes like if the, if the franchise makes a, a billion dollars, man, all I want is a mere ten million of that. I want one percent. That's it. I'm only gonna ask for one percent. That's it. I ain't gonna be greedy. One fucking percent of the profit made is all I want. That's it. And one percent of a billion is ten million. And I'd be satisfied. Shit, I would be satisfied. You heard me? Ah, oh, so we lost this stuff there. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
for the giant size uh, stuffed teddy bear on the on the highway, man, on the, on the shoulder. Man. Probably filthy, so I ain't going to think about it. But uh, yeah, I'm on the Columbia River Gorge again, too, man. Uh, I, could probably, I could probably do a time stamp uh, starting at, probably in a few more minutes, starting at 40 minutes in. Yeah, why not? I'll do that. But uh, yeah, man. So yeah, like when I when I when I post this up, man, I watch the whole thing so you can see my uh, my idea for uh, the movie uh, uh, here. Oh, Phantom Menace, uh, 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 Clone Wars, and Revenge of the Sith. Oh man, you gotta watch those, man. Shit. I mean, Jar Jar Binks is like everybody's most hated, lovable guy. But, uh, yeah, yeah man. Uh, I'll show off a little bit of the river here, too, as soon as I get a nice area where I can show you a bit here. Oh, okay, yeah, you gotta watch the Phantom Menace, uh, Clone Wars, and, Re and Revenge of the Sith. So you can see what, uh, the league was talking about uh, Friday. So I'm gonna let you know right now, man. First three movies, the lightsaber battles, epic. Because those Jedi have the original training that's been passed on since the Old Republic. So they're a lot more. Agile, quicker, faster. I haven't seen... I don't know why people are hitting on Rogue One so much. Rogue One, like, battle, movie. It's supposed to show how they got the plans for the Death Star. That was the entire purpose of that movie. How they got it and how they got it to Princess Leia. That was the whole purpose of that movie. Everybody Expecting Darth Vader, you know, to rattle them up. The movie was not meant for that. It's a side story of the canon story of how the rebellion that's the place three days, two days, and then one day prior to a new hope. So roughly it's between one, three days before the actual new hope movie. To the point of the new one. Obviously, when they give the plans to the uh, Star Destroyer. Damn. So, the Rogue One is roughly the prequel to Episode 4, but it's not, like I said, it's not a Jedi battle movie. So, yeah, a lot of hatred for that man, but I like Solo, I don't know. I'll probably have mixed emotions on that one when I go to see it, when I see it on DVD or Netflix or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Rogue One, I was satisfied. A lot of people hated it, I liked it. Rogue One was every one of the perspective, that's it. So, yeah, that's just, that's just me. Forty minutes, twenty seconds. All right. Now I'm gonna do some uh, scenery views for y'all. Welcome to the Columbia River Gorge. On that side of the river is Washington State. On this side is Oregon. I'm heading uh, west on Interstate 84 right now. So yeah, that's the Columbia River in a nutshell. Uh, it's pretty hazy outside from all the fires off in the distance, so it's kind of hard to see Mount Hood right now, but we'll see it a little bit later. I'll show it to you. But yeah, this is uh, the Columbia River. It's it's wide. It's uh, a, something in some parts is a half a mile wide, but it's usually about a quarter mile wide. 
But yeah, this part right here, I think it's about half a mile across. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh uh, yeah. You can see that's one of the uh, one of the uh, dams right there. Obviously, uh, for hydropower. So you use wind power up there. You can see all the uh, all the uh, windmills up uh, the, the uh, yeah the windmills for electricity plus. Uh, the water uh, turning the turbines here uh, produces electricity too. And that's clean, clean energy. about about the, the, how big I see it. 
Hang on. We go around uh, this guy. Oh, what the hell is he hauling? Animals? What do you got in there? Oh, chickens. He's hauling chickens. <laughs> okay. Ugh, looks like. There we go. Yeah, that's about the size I, I'm looking at it right now. Like, it's like my eyes would see it roughly exactly the same size as uh, what you're seeing right now. But yeah, this river is humongous. You can see all the uh, swans in there. Last time I was here it was windy as shit. Now it's a lot more calmer. But yeah, hopefully your your uh, rep will kick off, man. Shoot. Uh, Dallas ain't had uh, no artists since uh, Tom Tom and Fat Bastard, at least uh, and uh, Doro. Oh, that three was like the last artist I, I, I heard of. I remember it came out of Dallas. Like Tom Tom and Fat Bastard, they were comedy rappers. And uh, DeRoe, he was more like, you know, just like a mainstream, you know, upscale. But uh, yeah, Dallas ain't been kind of quiet since then. Houston's still going strong. Okay, now I can see Mount Hood a little bit now, but it would be hard to see it on camera until I get closer. Um, I do smell smoke, so there is a fire somewhere south of me, probably. Because the wind is kind of blowing a tad bit to the north. Like, I could actually smell it a little bit. Let me see. Yeah. M03 and Yellow Beezy. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I try to keep up with everybody, man. It's hard because I'm on the road so much. I mean, I, I have Sirius XM. But, like, every time I hear mumble rap or if I hear trap rap or with those same recycled board against me, I just cut it off. I give everybody a chance. I give everybody a chance. Yeah, I can see Mount Hood now a little bit better, but it's still kind of his. So I'm going to wait till I get a little bit closer. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. I don't want to hear none of that mumble shit, but... I mean, if you go be a trap rapper, at least be honest. I mean, a lot of these trap rappers are just lies. They ain't about that life. They talking it, but they ain't about it. You can kind of tell who phony who be. There's actually parts of this river that this thing turns into a damn lake. It wasn't a lake instead of a river. It's crazy. Sometimes I'll I'll have a beard kind of like you know a thin line, like a thin line one on both sides. But when I met if I ever mess it up, I have to cut it all off and then start over again. Yeah, the river is 
definitely a lot more calm than it has been. I can still see some rip current areas. But you can see where it's not rip current. I think the deepest part of the river is like 30 feet deep. That's, that's pretty good. Every time I need to go around somebody, there's always a freaking car next to me on my left. I have the worst luck when it comes to that. I guess I'm nervous. Park on the fucking left shoulder when there ain't no shoulder. Fucking retard. I was almost an accident right there. Almost an accident right there. And I couldn't get back over in the right lane because I was still trying to pass that one guy. Stupid idiots, man. That's how accidents happen. Motherfuckers doing dumb shit. Oh, man. I didn't even lose my temper like that. God damn. She must be getting on my nerves. Well, that was an accident almost ready to happen there. They park it on that left shoulder like that, like an idiot. Man. And they say we got an easy job? Hell no. This job is a mental, this job is a true mental stress break. But uh, let me show you this here, Kev, hold on. I'm gonna zoom it in to about my height. That's going up roughly, that's about 2,600 feet right there. From the bottom on that side, on the Washington side to the top. That's 2,600 feet, bro. So right now I'm kind of like on a, on a causeway, like, like literally this is, the river's on both sides right now. So like I'm not going to causeway. trees blocking it until they get to about this part. They have trees blocking it. And that's what trees do, they block the view. Even on this side, on this side it goes up pretty high too. But uh, my arm's getting tired, hold on. Yeah, my arm got tired. Stiff with my hand off my arm there and got tired quickly. They got me in my piece of fuse. <coughs> but yeah, man, I mean, I hope episode 9 is not as it's not, it's not a fuck up. I'll give it a try. But if it's a fuck up, yeah, they need to they need to scrap episode seven, eight, and nine, and just go ahead and just 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 disenfranchise it completely, and go back to uh, like I said my idea, the old the Knights of the Old Republic. That's what the fans want. They're tired of this storyline continuing all this time. It's 
time for something different.
and it's still snow capped too. Even in July, at the end of, by the end of July, there's still snow cap on Mount Hood. I'm coming up on the town of Dallas here. It's called the Dallas, not Dallas, it's the Dallas. Uh, this uh, town was used in the uh, video, by the old computer game, the Oregon Trail. So, and it's a real, it's a real new town, the Dallas, Oregon. <laughs> kind of crazy, huh? Speed limit is going to go from 65 down to 60, so I'll have to go from 68 to about 62, 63. Oh yeah, you see I'm rocking that uh, that rock revival, baby. You know how we do it down in Louisiana. You know you gotta look good. Got the Versace on, got my chain on. See, see, they don't understand that the, the gold. And this, this look right here, this is, this is a lifestyle. It ain't, you know, I ain't trying to be gangster and nothing like this. It's just a lifestyle. This is what we do. Downside, you got gold teeth, you got your chain, you got your earring, you got your, you got your sunglasses on, you got your cool hat. Obviously, this is my lifestyle. <laughs> That's all gravy. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the Dallas, Oregon here. Let me uh, set my uh, uh, 63 miles an hour. Yeah, I don't know. I should be able to get with All right, here's the Dallas, Oregon. Of course, I'll zoom in. Hang on. You can still see my hood way in the background there. There we go. So yeah, the river, the river is like way over there, but I'm getting kind of further away from it for a little while. But then I'll be right back up with it. Fucking butterfly kill over there. So yeah, you can see this is a pretty, pretty big town. I think the population here is like around 50,000 or something like that. 56,000. You can still see Mount Hood in the background there. Kind of fading off right now because uh, it's still pretty far away. But yeah, this is uh, the Dallas uh, Oregon. Dallas, Oregon. And right now, Mount Hood is covered up by uh, these uh, smaller mountains right now. But we'll see it again once I get out of here. Oh, that looks like this. <laughs> Hot outside too. It's 89 degrees outside already. I'm this far. A little park down there. Still see the river off in the background. I guess this area I'm coming up to, I guess this is considered the downtown area where that church is over there. I mean, this is not like a real city. It's like a, it's kind of like a city without big tall buildings. That's what it is. It's a city without the big tall buildings, except for maybe that church there up ahead. And of course, there's the river.
to show you something that you won't, you won't see in Texas, though. I ain't talking about these mountains. Should be coming up to one here in a short, in a short minute. Let's put my hands here. I played a power ball on uh, Wednesday. But yeah, it's crazy, huh? Just living in a place like this, that'd be weird. Car dealerships. Thank you. Like I said, they live out normal lives out too. So. Oh, there it is. Cannabis store. An actual cannabis store. <laughs> they ain't got those in Texas. <laughs> they got a weed. They got weed dispensaries in this state because this state's legal. You can buy it here legally as long as you're 21. Wow, huh? Ah, shit. Woo! Oh, freak. Uh, yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, um, Oregon, Washington, Nevada, California, Alaska, Colorado, Massachusetts, Maine, Washington, D.C. That's your, uh, around this bend here, back uh, uh, alongside the river again. Uh, we should get some more good views of uh, uh, Mount Hood, uh, Cascade, uh, the Cascade Mountains. And how many states have been legalized? Uh, okay, Alaska, Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, uh, Colorado, a six. Uh, Massachusetts, a seven, Maine, eight, District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., so we'll say 8.2. Oh, now you can hear me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Captain Grayson, he's he, he, he hearing me the whole time. He must have been on your end there. But, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Um, and on the, uh, there, there's uh, 16 states right now trying to get legal mar uh, legalized marijuana on the ballot this year. Of those 16, I feel about about half of them will, will get uh, yeses and the other half will get no. I wish it was more green around here. This area's been so dry. They need, they need some rain out this way. Hey. No. Medical, yeah. But they only allow medical CBD oil and, uh, and topical cream only. You can't get no, you can't get no, nothing that you can smoke. Louisiana's laws are trash. We got a Democratic governor, but we got a Republican-controlled uh, state legislature, and they ain't happening. Republicans don't want it. Either. With the exception of Alaska, every state that I mentioned is a blue state. I can't see my hood right now yet. Here. But we are getting closer to the Cascade Range. That's 
good thing. Um, let me see. I'll show y'all anyway. That's about the same size. That's about the same size I see everything there. This damn truck in my way. Fuck. Get around this ass. Speeding right now. I'm doing. Uh, oh yeah, it's a great view. That freaking butterfly splat right there in the middle of my windshield. I just watched this too before I started. And I kept hitting bugs. Get over this truck here, man. I don't want to be blocked by his bitch ass. Distracting my view. Now we're kind of climbing up right now. But uh, hang on. Oh, there you go. There's the Columbia River. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of like these these kinds of things blocking my view for now. Yeah. I wish I get to a more open area so I can show some more. But yeah, Uso, you're going to love my Star Wars idea, brother. I, I think it's going to be a gold mine. Or a diamond mine. We'll see. We'll see. There's always a big chunk in front of me. And they always screw up the view. But uh, while I've got my camera here, I'm going to try to clean my windshield. Try to get some of these bugs off. I'll do the best I can. It's about as good as I'm going to get it. Freak. So I can, I can scrub it. See what else we talked about. Um, shoot. Um, I said I, I watched uh, uh, every 20 days. I can get the outside watched every 20 days. So I do what I can to keep it clean on the outside. The inside's always clean. I keep the inside clean. Just cream on the inside and here. here. bed back there. There's a spare bed up there. Kind of folded up right now on my ceiling. My flow. That's probably as best I can show you while I'm sitting in here right now. I'll show you my dash panel here. See, I got like a vertical mountain right next to me there. Ah, here we go. Yeah, my fridge is uh, behind me. You can't see it. I can't. I can't show you the angle on that, but it's behind me. Well, yeah, this is, like I said, this is the, uh, all the Columbia River here, bro. From this point, it's about a mile across to the other side.
My favorite and least favorite. Okay, I'll do I'll, I'll do my top five here. Hold on, let me put this down. Uh, let me finish this turn here so I can put the phone down here. Hold on. Start with my uh, least favorite states, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Maryland, uh, Kansas, and uh, Wyoming. Massachusetts and Connecticut traffic is a disaster. It's just a pain in the ass. Um, Maryland, same thing. It's all traffic. Uh, Kansas is boring as shit. There ain't nothing to look at. Nada. It's all planes. And uh, Wyoming because it's always so windy. And it's also uh, along Interstate 80 in Wyoming. Not, 90 is not so bad. 25 and 80. I use that one the most. Boring as shit and very windy. Now my favorite states. Here we go. Um, love Florida. Who doesn't? Uh, love going through. Um, oddly, I like going through North Carolina. It's always open. You know, lots to see, lots to look at. Um, I like Texas outside the major cities. And, you, and, and you'll, you know what I mean when I talk about that. Because Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, traffic, and Austin, traffic is a nightmare. But like when you're like, like in West Texas, it's so pretty. The Guadalupe Mountains, uh, it's really pretty. Uh, where else? Um, that's two states. Uh, here, Oregon, Washington, love it, beautiful. We'll consider that one state, right, because I, I don't want to waste uh, one of them. Uh, where else? Um, I enjoy going across uh, Montana's pretty in the summertime, not so much the winter. I love Colorado. I love Colorado. And the uh, last state, uh, that I like to drive across would probably be uh, Georgia. Georgia's not so bad. Yeah, so there, there you go. I'll give you six. So yeah, Florida, Georgia, Oregon, Washington, uh, West Texas, or anywhere outside the major cities of Texas, uh, and Montana. So yeah, states I enjoy driving on. Now my favorite interstate, right here, hands down. I love going across this. I just look at the river, look at the, all the mountains around it, the uh, pine trees, and this is beautiful in that city. You heard me? This part of the river looks like a fucking lake. That part of the river looks like a lake.
puzzle like a postcard, don't it? Or a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, I'm getting closer to the Cascade Range. I'm starting to notice more pine trees on this side now. Uh, and up up uh, uh, here on the hills and mountains here, on the plateaus. So that's how I know I'm getting closer to the Cascade Range. But I think that big mountain you see up in the background, that's roughly about where the Cascade Range will start. Like once I'm in like the, 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 40, uh, the, the 30 and 40 mile marker zone, that's, that's the Cascade Range. Last time I came through here, uh, it was really cloudy. You couldn't see much. So, uh, yeah, this is a uh, yeah, little train tunnel there. Hood River County. Yeah, I'm definitely getting close now to the Cascades. There you go. I can see about the size I see. Just things about the same size I see. So sorry about that bug splat. Can't do much better. It's kind of crazy, huh? Like I said the river looks like a damn lake. Windy here too, so I got straight away here. Ugh, my arm. Woo! Shit. I always hold it so stiff. Hang on. Uh, no, just truck stops or rest stops. Uh, sometimes I can park at uh, Walmart, but that's roughly it. I mean, at 18 million, there's not many places where we can park. There's not too many places we can go. You got, well, now, if I was just a tractor only without a trailer, yeah, I, I can freely go around. Oh, somebody got pulled over. We need to slow down. Damn, Oregon State Troopers, they ain't fucking around today. Shoot. Fire danger. Use caution. Yeah, this area is in a major drought. I mean, the river here is the only thing feeding the trees. That's it. But like up here and on that side, on the uh, up the mountains, this drives boom. They need some rain here badly, real badly. All right, can I see Mount Hood yet? Again, a lot closer. Maybe as I come around this bend here, we'll see. I'm looking for it. it. Must be obstructed still. I can't see it. Yeah, I'm in the uh, town of Mount Hood right now. Uh, yeah, Mount Hood is still like 20 some miles away. Uh, I can't see, can't see it anymore. Unless it's over there now. I mean, don't forget that uh, all that snow that fell out here, uh, there's still a lot of water inside the mountain itself. That's the only thing that's really feeding the trees. It's like, it's like, uh, like moisture inside the mountain itself. Kind of like, you know, like locked away water. But yeah, there's still, there's a lot of brown here. Uh, the grass is really brown. Temperatures 
dropping. It was 90 now. Um, as I get closer to Portland, it's probably going to drop down to the 70s. It's weird. Now, that part of the state, like from the Cascade Range um, westward to the coast, yeah, they get all the rain. Out here, it just gets wrung out before it gets out this way. That sucks. All right, I've got trees on both sides of me right now, so I'm not looking at much of the show right now. Okay, no, I'm not looking at some Okay, let's see here. I see it's more area opening up here. Definitely getting a lot closer to the Cascade Range now. The mountains are getting a lot taller on this side. What the heck is uh, our favorite volcano? Maybe getting covered up. Maybe not. I think that last view was the last one I was able to get you guys. I'm looking. So I'm gonna take it easy, man. Uh, but yeah, you'll get a view of Mount Hood on this on this uh, live stream. I've already shown it earlier. I'm trying to get it now, and I can't see it. Like I think all these trees and these mountains here are obstructing it now because I'm getting into the Cascade Range now. But yeah, I'm gonna probably close the stream here shortly. It's already uh, an hour and a half on. still off to the right there. Yeah, salmon sound good too, but I'm getting kind of hungry. You can see them kind of tall mountains out in the distance there. That's the Cascade Range at the peak area. I'm still a good 20 miles away. As you can see, 20 miles that far. I mean, you can see the, the grass is brown and yellow. These trees are getting all their water from the river. They're good. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is much better than last time. I know, man. And like I said, wait till we get around this bend. You'll be able to see some more. I don't think I can see Mount Hood anymore, man. Uh, I think these uh, these mountains here are covering it up. Shit. I don't know. Somebody just had to call me, of course. Good work. 
using this tendon right here. I don't use it too often. This was hurting up here. I hate this. It's up here. Shit. State Park. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of trees obstructing my view now, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and get on the street in a few more minutes. Oh man. Hey man, I'm glad I was able to share this uh, adventure with y'all. Get to see what I get to see. Sunday, what's with all this damn traffic? Fuck. Dang. I'm trying to get around this guy forever, man. I'm gonna pop that fucking car after car after car after car. Come on. I can't get around this guy. He's doing 50 miles an hour. Oh, and I got the way station up ahead. Oh, come on. That's really going to mess me up. Uh, my bad, man. You know me. I'm, I'm going to bitch and complain about, you know, stupid things like that, man. You just drive me crazy. It's probably going to 50 miles an hour in a 65 zone. All right, let me see if I got to go into this way station. Uh, if I do, I can have Closed, okay. Whew. I mean, I'm not worried about my weight, it's just I can't stand going these motherfuckers, man. This motherfucker don't speed the fuck up, we're gonna keep one damn speed going. This shit's gonna drive me crazy. Hang on, give me just a minute. Let me go this uh, slow poke ass pickup truck with a damn trailer on it. Probably no geezer. Let's see. Yep. No geezers. Every time. Every time. I'm saying it. Every time. Always some old geezers and them motherfucking uh, RVs and the pickups all on trailers. Like trailer RVs. Let's see. Alright, let me get around this bend here. I might be able to show you one more good view of here. Like I said. I had to get past that slow poke, it was driving me crazy. Ah, uh, I got one more good view coming up here. I think Mount Hood is, I think I'm riding alongside Mount Hood right now. Like, literally, I can't see it from here, obviously, because these mountains are in my way now. These bitches are going straight vertical. Real tough. Alright, let me get around this bend, this last one right here. I think we've got a nice open area now. Uh, come on, let's see if we can see some good shit here. Come on, come on, come on, show it to me. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Nice view. Okay. Trying to turn here. Alright. There we go. Yeah, welcome to the K 
Cascade Range uh, here in Oregon and Washington. Looks like something out of a video game, just have the trees on both sides and the mountains in the background. Yeah, if this truck wants to pass me, he can pass me. I don't care. Mountains here are in, like uh, in the early, like in the late spring, early summer, uh, when there's still like water and all over the place. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it's been so dry here since like I think it hasn't rained around here too much since the day. They haven't got much rain at all. Climate change is real. This area used to get trenched in right now, they're getting barely any. be our last view coming up and I'm um, going to go ahead and close the stream. This is uh, a bit clear here. All these damn trees. I see like a nice open area coming up. Or at least I thought I did. I don't know. Locks. 
see if we can show here, or is this, uh, or did I just, ah, I waited too late, all the trees are covered up now. Yeah, this area is more green because this area has actually seen the rain, but behind me, not so much. Well, the mountains you see there on the Washington side. Okay. Hopefully. 